Hey everyone, welcome back to my craft room. I'm Tammy and thank you for tuning in today to Creative Girl Vintage. So I'm tinkering around with some vintage Christmas today and um, here's what I'm going to be using. I've got some chenille stems, some vintage shiny brights, a vintage putz house, some lace, and a few embellishments. And I wanted to invite you to follow along and let's enjoy some crafting time together. Gosh, I love creating with these vintage pieces. Just makes me so happy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do for this project is grab two of these chenille stems. I'm using these sparkly silver ones. You could use really any colors that you like. It's not really a big deal. This is kind of your hanger and, um, and also the foundation for what we're gonna be doing today. So holding these right here, I wanna twist these two pieces together and kind of once you get started here and get this on a roll, you can just keep moving. Goes pretty quick. One of these on its own is a little bit flimsy, but when you put two of them together like this, get a, a little bit stronger piece to work with. Okay, so I'm gonna twist it all the way to the end. we go and then the next thing I'm going to do is just bring this around like a loop and tie it back kind of on itself right here twist it back on itself I should say and there we've made a loop for a hanger and then we have our base right here okay next let's grab some lace and if you've watched I think the maybe the last two videos I did I used this lace I found it at Joann's and I, I just loved it and it I was going to use ribbon for this but this was just so pretty that I decided to go with it so I have a strip of lace here and I folded it up and I'm just going to cut a nice strip right there this way Everything's kind of the same width, and it looks really good. So what do I got here? One, two, these are kind of long. Here, let me just give myself another one. I know they're kind of long, but that's okay. Gives me something to work with there. Okay, now, let's grab a shiny bright. I'm gonna start with this one. I thought this one was really pretty. Let's take our lace. Okay, everything's tangling up here. Take our lace. Put it through our shiny bright. Maybe if it wants to cooperate. There we go. This is pretty long. I'm probably going to end up taking a chunk of that off. There we go. Okay, just tie this on to your shiny bright, like so. And let's get our little base piece out here. And what we're going to do is tie this lace bow onto the chenille stem. So here, I'm gonna tighten that a little bit, slide it up a little bit, and just make a bow. And that's what I liked about this lace. It just sort of it just flows and kind of just lays so pretty. This is a little bit long, so I'm just going to just get some of it out of my way by doing a little trim. Okay, um, let me see, what about this one? I'm gonna use two on here. I think I'll go with the paler one. I'm gonna grab another piece of lace strip here. I'm gonna get rid of some of that excess right out of the gate. All right, we're gonna do the same thing as we did the first one. Let's just pop it in here has a little bit smaller hole, so of course it's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. But we'll get it through. There we go. Okay, and we'll tie. And same thing here, you guys. We're just gonna tie this one on. I'm gonna be kind of starting my bow over on this side this time. Okay, tie, push it up, 
make a bow. Okay, I'm gonna fool with it or adjust it a little bit. Okay, now you can see how, let me push these all the way to the top like so. You can see how these are hanging kind of pretty right there, okay? Now, this is the fun part. Here's an adorable little vintage putz house. Now, this was a little flea market find. I did some repairs. It's missing some pieces, and it's not in the greatest of shape, but it's really going to be perfect for today's project. And it had a little wire hanger in the top. Now, not all of my find has that, so I was like, well, that kind of helped me for putting this together. So I thought we could decorate this just a little tiny bit. And I have a little tiny vintage deer. So let's put a little hot glue on this guy's feet and pop him on the porch right here. Our little church. I'm gonna add a little extra glue around him. And one of the things I'll do, because that hot glue, sorry, I went to grab my glitter, that hot glue you can see it. I'll take some glitter and sprinkle it on. And as that dries, that glitter will dry right on there around his little feet. Okay, I gotta keep, I gotta quit tipping him over because every time I do it, he's not attaching to the glue. He's just falling over. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. I promise. Okay. And then I have right here, this is very special. This is a tinsel yarn. And it looks like tree tinsel, doesn't it? It's just so pretty. But why this is so special to me is my little crafting friend, Christopher. Christopher's eight years old. He loves my videos and he loves crafting. And he's super creative at it too. He's so good. So he was at Michael's with his mom and he said, Mom, we have to get that for Mimsy. All the kids call me Mimsy. And because she could use it in her videos. And it's just so heartwarming and sweet. I can't even tell you. So Christopher, I'm definitely going to use this to decorate this little house today. So with a little bit of hot glue right here, I think this makes the perfect roof decoration of all times. And I want to thank you because I really appreciate how you notice the crafting supplies that I like to use because I do like this little pretty tiny stuff. So if you guys are looking for this, this was at Michael's and it's tinsel yarn. So our little house is looking good. Let me check our, our oh, he's on there really well. Okay, here we go. Another scrap of lace here, lace ribbon. I'm just messy today, okay. So let's run it through this little wire. And I'm thinking, if you don't have a, a wire on your little putz houses, which normally we don't, um, you can definitely use one of those little screw eye, uh, you know, eye hook things and drill a little hole and glue it down in there to make, actually make a little hanger on top of your house. All right, just like we did our shiny brights, we're going to tie this on to this chenille stem. Get our bow. Make a pretty bow. I liked all the lace that just flowed with this. Let's push it up to our shiny brights, like so. I want that sh chenille stem in the back there. You have to adjust it a little bit. Adjust all your bows and lace. Like I think this bow kind of came loose a little bit so here let me let me do a redo oh you know how it goes when you're crafting sometimes you just got to do a redo right I'm trying to figure out where I even there I am okay get rid of some of this got too much on there all right so now let's see where this is going isn't this sweet so let me flip this over you see we have this excess back here. So you could either, i tell you, you know what I think I'm gonna do with this? I'm gonna cut it off right here. Kind of looking at this, I kind of see what a good 
idea might be. And I'm going to put a dot of hot glue right here. I'm needing a little dot at the top, too. I'll do two dots. Hold that down for a second. Just to kind of keep it straight. All right, let's flip it over. Move all this out of the way. Do a few little adjustments. And look at that cute little decoration. Just to hang on the tree, hang on the door. Isn't that just absolutely adorable? I also, um, I have a little wreath I thought I could tie this onto too, which I, I've left upstairs, so I don't have it down here right now. But you see how easy that was? And that's inspiring. I mean, you know, you can start out with your chenille stem and, you know, maybe tie a bunch of uh, shiny brights on it, a, a ranger on it. All there, there could be so many different things that you could tie on this that would just be super, super adorable. So you guys see how fast that was just to take a few vintage pieces, throw it all together. And uh, I love the way this came out. And I'm definitely hanging this on my tree because I have a tree filled with vintage shiny brights and I collect these little houses. Even if they, they've been well loved, I still love them a lot. Thank you, Christopher, for the beautiful little tinsel garland we got to embellish with today. And you guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button. It really helps me out for my channel. And thank you for spending a little time with me today for this super quick project. And I hope you were inspired to grab a few things and uh, make something beautiful. I'll see you at my next video. Bye for now.